sorry to stop you, but I really must go home. I only meant to stay for a few minutes. It's no good now, you know. What do you mean? I've got to go home at once. The others will be wondering where I am. Mr. Tumnus, whatever is the matter? <laughs> Mr. Tumnus, what is the matter? <laughs> Dear Mr. Tumnus, tell me what's wrong. <laughs> Mr. Tumnus, stop it at once. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Why are you crying? I'm crying because I'm such a bad fawn. I don't think you're a bad fawn. I think you're a good fawn. You're the nicest fawn I've ever met. Oh, you wouldn't say that if you knew. What have you done? I've... I've... I'm in the pay of the White Witch. The White Witch? Who is she? Why? It is she that has Narnia under her icy thumb. It's she that makes it always winter and never Christmas. How awful. But what does she pay you for? Oh, that's the worst of it. I am a kidnapper for her. I mean, look at me. Would you believe that I am the sort of fawn to meet a poor innocent child in the woods and pretend to be friendly with it and invite it home to my cave, all for the sake of lulling it to sleep and then handing it over to the White Witch? No. I'm sure you wouldn't do anything of the sort. But I have. But you're sorry. And I'm sure you'll never do it again. Don't you understand? I'm doing it now. This very moment. What do you mean? I had orders from the White Witch that if ever I saw a human, I was to catch it and hand it over to her. And you were the first I ever met. I pretended to be your friend and asked you to tea. And all the time, I've been meaning to wait until you were asleep and then go and tell her. Oh, but you won't, Mr. Thomas. You won't, will you? And if I don't, she'll find out. And have my tail cut off and my horn sawn off and my beard plucked out. And if she's specially angry, she'll turn me into stone. And I shall be only a statue in her horrible house. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Tumnus, but please let me go home. Of course I will. I've got to. I hadn't known what humans were like before I met you. Of course I can't give you up to the witch, but we must be off at once. I'll see you back to the lamppost. I suppose you can find your own way from there back to Spare Oom and Ward Robe. I'm sure I can. We must go as quietly as we can. The woods are full of her spies. In fact, some of the trees are on her side. You know your way from here, a daughter of Eve? Yes, I can see the wardrobe door. Then be off home, as quick as you can. I do hope you won't get into trouble on my account. Farewell, daughter of Eve. Perhaps I may keep the handkerchief? Of course, dear Mr. Tennis. Yeah.